Okay, so for this, you need a ruler, a pencil. This is an eight by 12 piece of paper. And we also have the reference photo, which is a four by six. Now the final paper is twice the size as the four by six. So this is an eight by 12. Um, we are gonna start out with our reference photo. And if you are not in school, you will need to print out your reference photo as a four by six. Okay, so this is my picture. There's a couple pictures to choose from. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a grid on this just to help us out with some of the angles. So with my grid, this is a four by six. So obviously half of six is three. So I'm gonna put a little mark on three. I'm gonna do another one up here. So a little tick mark on three. And then I'm going to connect these lines. This is your reference photo, so you can draw all over this. Doesn't matter what you do to your reference photo. The side is four inches, so I'm going to make a tick mark at two, and then another tick mark at two. Connect these two together. Okay, so we have a nice uh, divide into four sections. The next step is where the ceiling in this picture meets the wall. You are going to line up your ruler on that line. And let's see here. Draw a line. So I start from the center um, and kind of push my way out and I go a little bit off the page, off the, the photo, I guess. So the line goes over the photo. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So where the ceiling meets the wall, whatever photo you chose. And in theory, these two lines should meet up at the same point. So mine is pretty much right in the center there. And then over here, where the floor meets the wall. And this one is a little bit confusing. This is actually tile floor. So the line is technically right here. So I'm going to line this up. And actually, I'm lucky with this one. The lines go right to the center of the picture. Then another one, and this is my last one, where the ceiling, or where the wall meets the floor. So all my lines went off the page, we're good. And where all four of these lines meet, this is our vanishing point. So you can draw a little circle as your vanishing point in one point perspective. This is where everything kind of disappears to. Um, now we are going to do the same thing on our paper. So you can create a grid on your paper, and this is going to be twice the size. So since this is an eight by 12, the long part is 12 inches. So we are going to make a tick mark right at the halfway point. So six, do the same thing up here. At six and then since this is our final paper we are going to draw this grid super light very light because we are eventually going to erase it so super light line then the sides are eight inches so we will do the halfway point which is four and then on the other side four as well That's right. Okay, pretty close. Paper is not going to be perfect, but you can always tweak it. Really light line again, super light. Okay, so we have our T. Now, this is where everybody's is going to be slightly different. 
on my paper, if I wanted to measure, uh, I'm going to measure the corner of the paper to where this line right here, where the ceiling meets the wall, I can measure from here to here. And I don't know, I don't care how you do this. I had a couple people using centimeters, so this is like half of almost, well, actually that's like one centimeter. Now, I am going to make a tick mark where this line comes off the page, I'm gonna transfer it over here. So if this is one centimeter here, I'm going to double the size and this is going to actually be two centimeters on the final paper. So I'm going to draw a little tick mark. Again, this is where that line comes off the page. And so now we're going to draw that angle right here and since mine goes right to the center with my ruler I'm going to draw a line and actually I can draw my little vanishing point right now so from this little tick mark to my vanishing point I will create that angle even though this is a permanent line I'm still going to draw light you're going to do a lot of erasing in this project okay so next one so from here to the edge of the paper to where it comes off the page, I'm going to measure that. I'm going to guess it is also one centimeter. Looks the same to me. And again, everybody's is going to be different. Some people will have their lines come off at the top of the page. So it just depends on your photo. Yep, this is one centimeter. So I'm going to double that. So it's going to be two over here. Little tick mark. And then my ruler, I will line this up. Okay, so currently I have these two lines on my final paper. Okay, so now this one I can measure. You can also, if you trust yourself, you can eyeball it. I am more of the person to eyeball because I'm kind of a cheater. I'm not great with like official numbers and everything. It's just not me. So this is about a centimeter and a half-ish. So I double that, that's gonna be three right there. So I'll just make a mark right there. And then I can I'll just double check that one more time. Yeah, it's a little more, but that's okay. Okay, so now, and then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I mean, I know it's the same, isn't it? Okay, so now I have these four lines in there. Okay, now becomes, or now comes the trickier part. We are going to draw this back wall. So how you do that is you can either eyeball or measure. And I'm going to measure it. So mine is again about one centimeter. So from the center, the vanishing point to the top of the wall, show you closer. So from the vanishing point here to the top of the, the wall, the back wall there is about one centimeter. So I'm going to transfer that, double it. So it's going to be about two centimeters. I'll make a little mark at two centimeters. So we have a mark on that center line right there. Then I am going to draw a straight line across. Let me just test something. No, never mind. Okay, so a straight line across. Try to make it parallel with the top of the paper here. Try your best draw light in case you have to erase 
and we're going to connect these two lines. So just like that. So we just drew the top here. So then next, we are going to draw, we're going to connect these lines down, and these are going to go straight down. So with your ruler, this is going to be straight up and down, and this is actually going to be a right angle here. So with my ruler, I'm going to try my best to make a right angle, drawing light in case I need to erase. Okay, so again, technically, that's a right angle there. Then I'll do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now, technically, these two lines should meet up, and they do. Yay. And we will connect those together. Sweet. So now, we have our back wall drawn. You can erase everything except the vanishing point. Uh, you don't have to, um, but it might be a little bit easier to look at, you know, to see like, okay, this is the back wall. You might just put things into better context. Okay, so you can see that now this is the ceiling, this is the wall right here, floor, and then the wall. Um, and then I can start doing details later, which will be a different video.